Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today's adventure brings me to In-N-Out Burger in Orange County, California. Just, well, it's on Bristol Street in Santa Ana, California. Now this site used to be the very first In-N-Out Burger, not in existence, but the first In-N-Out in Orange County, California. Now there's a little, a little asterisk on that fact because they have since torn down the very first building here in the OC and replace it with a bigger version. And since I have left when I went to Florida, I believe it was April, don't quote me on that, they have constructed and reopened the grand opening of this in and out That's a lot of in and out And I'm gonna be consuming a meal from here. And I have a special guest. Dylan from Theme Park. You didn't realize you were going to be in the intro. No, I didn't. I, that's why I stopped to the side there. <laughs> you were saying on the way over that you wanted to get a shake. Oh, yeah. you got to have an In-N-Out milkshake. Are you going to get anything besides that? Yeah, I'll probably get a double-double. Yes. Yeah, uh, maybe protein style, I'm not sure. Or just like, classic. Is protein style the same as animal style? Uh, no, protein style is uh, without the bun, just lettuce. Oh, lettuce the wrap. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. That's... You can do that. I'm going to get animal style fries. I'm yes. going to get double double non-animal style and just kind of check out the new the new premises here on is it Bristol Ave or Bristol Street? Uh Bristol Street that sign says corner yeah. of Civic Center Drive and Bristol Street here in Santa Ana, California. You call it the OC or do you call it Orange County? I call it the OC. It's a, it's a very heated debate on what it's called. Sometimes I say the OC but I'm not from California, so I'm allowed. Yeah, so you can say it either or. I can say it either or. All right, let's get in there. Let's get in there and out of there. Yeah. Inviting you to join me. Shall you? Now, I could ask if these were petunias. I'm not going to do that. But I am going to show the address here. 815 Bristol Street. Now, the old building was more or less in the same exact spot, except they have kind of redecorated the landscape through here. But they took the old building down, the drive-through went kind of that way a little more than it did before. Now the drive-through is over there. There are two drive-through lanes now, as opposed to the one that was there before. And there's some outside seating. The double-double is always a go-to for me. I really like the landscaping through here. It almost looks like a dried up riverbed, like a river would go right through this section. I do love In-N-Out, and I have not been, I don't count how many times I'm going to say the words of this establishment. I'm gonna to try not to say it anymore, of this establishment. So far, it's probably already been a baker's dozen that I have stated the name of this establishment. <laughs> and there's always crisscrossing palm trees, which I have heard is because the creator of this establishment loved the movie, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, where the treasure was hidden under a big W. I can't confirm that 100%, but there's always a crisscrossing tree in front of, you know the name of the place, in front of, in front of this establishment. And this one is no exception. However, when I was here before, the crisscrossing trees were kind of over here where the parking lot is. So they have moved this iconic which almost like almost acts as like a beacon to pull in. Oh, the drive-through. It's kind of neat how the drive-through set up. It goes it kind of just dumps out onto Bristol here and wraps all the way around. Very efficient. But we're going to choose. I was going to say we're going to go in, but there is no inside. There is no indoor dining here. Look at this. There's no indoor seating. It's just a walk-up window. It's just a walk-up window and some seats outside. So it looks like we're going to be eating outdoors. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And the in the SoCal the SoCal elements. All right, let's go order some food. When they grow, they start going vertical. Oh, oh as they grow taller, they're gonna kind of bend inwardly. Yeah, they'll bend going going vertical. That's a possibility. There's also some smaller palm trees here, and there's the sign, like the the neon sign. That could be the sign that was here before when they tore the old version down. Maybe they mounted the old neon right there on the side of the wall, possibly. 
I'm just kind of making that up in my head, but I think that'd be pretty neat if that was the case. And the menu is very simple. They don't, don't have a, a ton of options, make it very simple and quick for ordering. You get a number one, a double-double, french fries and a medium drink. That might be my go-to, and then I'm on an animal style. So it'd be $8.30 the number one, on, and then the animal style is probably a little bit more. And I'll probably get a, I'll get a soda, but then i also probably get a milkshake. We can get the milkshake after. We should get the meal first. Yeah. And then come back. We'll eat over there at the picnic tables, and then come back and get the milkshake after the fact. But if you want just a double-double without the meal, $4.45. And a double-double would be double meat and double cheese. Now, they do have a, a secret menu that is not listed on here, and Animal Style is part of the secret menu. It's one of the more common, popular secret menus, but there's a, there's a more in-depth secret menu, more than Animal Style. That I've covered that before, so I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to go with the, the traditional double-double and Animal Style fries. They are now preparing the meal. We're going to walk across here. So it says, a little caution, crosswalk. It also says, watch for moving vehicles. One thing I am noticing, the, the weight area over here, it's, it's not very large. There's not a lot of space in the weight area. So we've kind of crossed over the walk space. Be very cautious when you're doing this. What was the number that we have to, we have to be alerted for? We're 23. We're number 23. I like all the flower arrangements also through here. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely noticeably larger than the previous building that was once here. I have been craving, I have been craving a double-double over the past few months. I wanted to, I wanted to show back up here after, you know, immediately after landing into Southern California, but I put it off till now. I wait, I've been back a few days, but I'm back, back now. There is something very nice about knowing that in the kitchen they are preparing a meal that will kind of give a little excitement to your taste buds. That is what's happening right now as I'm waiting. I'm even more, I am more craving and getting a little appetite since ordering the meal. You can see how there's two different kind of like bottlenecks together where you go out the same exit out the drive through So more efficient than the, the last place. Now, next to this is an empty field, which I had assumed is where the in and out was gonna be, but I guess the property line start, stops right there. Nonetheless, I am ready to have a meal. Also noticing not only is this area here, the waiting area, kind of very enclosed and not a whole heck of a lot of room, but there's also not a, a whole heck of a lot of shade. No, which is so, not good for me. It's not good for you? No, no. You don't like the sun? You could, you could have had a ball cap on. Yeah, I could have, I should have brought a hat. Protect you from those rays, and you have to be very patient because they make it fresh. Yep. Which is a good thing. You don't want something that's been sitting on, under the burner for a while. They're making it fresh while you're waiting here, which is good. We're going to have some fresh burgers. Yours without a butt. Nope, just got the yeah. protein sauce. I actually upped the ante. I got the three by three. So what you're making up with lack of bread, <laughs> you're more having meat. extra meat. Yeah. You could just have the bread be the buns and the lettuce be the burger. Then you'd have an extra patty because you got three. Yeah. You have now, like three by three? Yeah, three, three by three. three. Yeah. You know, back in the day. Now I'm confused. Hey, back in the day, my three was eight by eight. Wow. Like a little bit, a little bit. An eight by eight? Hell yeah. I swear all my life, dude. I put it on 8x8, I put it on 10x10. They don't do it no more. Most I've gotten is yeah. a 4x4. Four four. You get a 4x4? No, four four? Four they don't do it no more. I've eaten a I've eaten a double double in a 4x4. Four four. Yeah, but I put it on 8x8, dude. It was, it, it was about eight this low. Hey, wow. it was about this low. I put it on 10x10. We were all working in Irvine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they don't do it no more. Yeah, that's not even on the menu there. Yeah, that's part of the, the That's part of the secret. It was the same, it was, it was back in, one, two, five, eight, five. Oh, it says right here, Santa Ana opened yeah. 75. So the original location, 75, the old building. And there's our food. And we waited quite a while, they're gonna give me another refill on the Dr. Pepper. Took a little while, but they are making it fresh. Yeah, it opened September of 75.
But it's interesting because this is this is engraved on the new building. Dr. Pepper, right? Yes, thank you. So this is the date of the original building, right? 75? Yes, the original building. And when did this building open? A oh, April? Man. April of like, this year. I think it was April or April or May, yeah. All right. Oh, uh, thank you. No problem. All right. Thank you. You guys are all set. Thank all right, thank you so thank much. How are we gonna carry all this? <laughs> you got it? You got that? Awesome. You got it? We were, pa we were patient, right? Dylan. We were patient. And it paid off. Patience has paid off. The virtue will now be engulfed into our bellies. And it's now time. I'm just gonna say, it's time for some In-N-Out Burger. Oh yeah. Is it better to say In-N-Out or In-N-Out Burger? Burgers from In-N-Out? Burgers from In-N-Out. In-N-Out Burger. In-N-Out In in Hamburgers. Hamburgers from this establishment. Look at that delicious entree. Oh yeah. It smells so good. It okay, we've waited good. long enough. Let's go eat. Let's see. Let's see. Looks as if around this corner there are, well, there's a table there that's kind of in the sun. But over here there's a couple that are kind of shadowed out. So maybe we could just do this one? Yeah. Right here? Kind of yes. get this corner away from the, away from everything. And the, there is no indoors. Yeah, no indoors whatsoever. In fact, the restrooms are, the doors are on the outside. And this kind of shows the perspective here of the, the drive through as it goes around. Pretty long drive through line. Yeah, the two lanes. Gave us the napkins. They kind of, oh, the napkins is kind of festering over into here's the. A, here's a clean one. Into oh, the kind double of double. One. Kind of, sort of clean. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make a mess nonetheless, even without the napkins. Got the cheese, the secret sauce. This one has some salt on it. They put quite a bit of salt on there. Oh, they didn't sprinkle it on there. They put the packet. They just literally put it on there. Put it on there. Got a little extra salt here. So this is animal style. This is non-animal style. I got the animal style, so yeah. this must be your fry. Yeah. And they had the wherewithal to give us silverware because I'm gonna need this for the animal style. And this is the protein style. You know what? I'm gonna ask for an extra box. You wanna get an extra box? Yeah, That's I'll smart. Get an extra box. You'll get an extra box. I'll continue showing off. This is the double-double right here. Oh yeah. I love in and out I've covered this. I've covered this subject matter before. Really, the only thing that sets this aside is the fact that Dylan is here tagging along for today, and that this establishment, this particular building, was torn down. The first in and out. Man, I have said that word so many times. In Orange County, California, the structure was torn yeah, down, and this one back in I think it was April of this year at the grand opening. But any chance to eat in and out? After, especially after returning from from Florida. It's kind of a nice welcome back. So you're gonna use that as a plate? Yes. A makeshift plate for your protein style. Oh yeah. I had to switch the camera around because we were silhouetted out the other way. There's a dog staring at us over there in the drive-thru in the back seat of that drive-thru. Oh yeah, I see it. So should I go with the animal style fries first or should I go with the burger first? I think you should dive into those animal fries. Just dive right in? Yeah. Oh yeah. We were discussing while we were waiting for the food that there is a lot of discrepancy and it's a heated subject matter on who has the best hamburger. And let me state that I wouldn't say in and out is the best hamburger ever created on earth. No. But it's pretty dang close. But what sets it aside yeah. is just kind of the the vibe of it. It's a, it's a California thing. I feel like I'm back to my home in California when I eat it in and out. Yeah. And it's a dang good burger. I think it's the sauce for me too. The sauce is good. That's their, their secret sauce. The secret sauce, double double. This has been wrapped in its in and out has wrapped its products in paper since 1948. I don't know though, you know. I think, I think in and out might be my, my favorite hamburger. Five Guys is another one that's amazing. Five Shake, Shack, Shack. Shake Shack. That's my favorite. Shake Shack, then in and out okay. and then Five Guys. Now, if Shake Shack had in and out pricing, I think they would dominate. You can't beat the in and out pricing, it's pretty valuable. 
I should have gotten us a total on what all this cost. Do you remember? Oh, I think I have a receipt. So, yeah. Uh, Twenty-one eighty after tax. Twenty-one dollars and eighty cents for a double double, animal style fries, two sodas, three by three, a three by three, and a side of fries, lettuce, and a side of fries. And after we consume this, we're gonna get shakes. I'm gonna get us some milkshakes. Yeah. Dylan bought the meal. I got the shake. I think I'm getting the better end of the deal on this one. I wonder if that dog's ordering anything. They actually do have items for dogs. You get a, um, I think it's called a puppy patty, and they just they don't put any salt or anything on it. It's just just the meat. There you go. So you think that that dog is getting a puppy patty? That uh, that dog very well could be getting a puppy patty. That's a large dog. That Maybe dog could eat like seven puppy patties. Maybe a double double puppy patty. Or a triple triple. Tri a triple, yeah. There's a pigeon right down there that wants a bite of my burger. Oh, in fact, there are two pigeons. There's one there and one there. Just looking for looking for a little bite of a burger. Or maybe a fry. Maybe they want that secret sauce. I could I could eat a couple double doubles. I should try the triple triple. Mm -hmm. The guy that was over there while we were waiting, he said he ordered a 10 by 10 once back in like 1985. Mm -hmm. And he said him and his friend ate a 10 by 10. Or was it a 12 by 12? 10 by 10. That's a lot. That's a lot of that's a lot of meat on a bun. They don't even do that anymore. They don't give you a ten by ten anymore. What's no. the biggest you can get? Like a six by I think, six? I think a, uh, no, I think a four by four is the largest you can get now. We'd have to ask them. Be a good question to ask. You could order two four by fours and stack them on top of each other. It could be an eight by eight. And they may have used some two by fours to build the structure. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised I even waited this long to get to get this. But I've been back a few days yeah. and I held off till now. I'm holding off on going into Disneyland for a little bit longer and I held off coming to this favorite hamburger establishment to being here a few days. Get a little info here off the back of the packaging. The very first one opened in 1948. Now that was not here in Orange County. But it was here in Southern California. The Orange County one was a little bit after that. All their burgers are made with fresh beef that's never frozen. And their buns are made without preservatives. And we hand leaf, while well, they do, they hand leaf their lettuce every day. The fries are peeled and diced daily from fresh whole potatoes. And the fries are also cooked in 100% sunflower oil. I just heard a firework. Yeah. It's, the, it's July 5th as a recording of this. I have finished my hamburger, but I still got my animal style fries. Now they're different, like on my burger I got the sliced onions, but these are the diced, these are called diced onions, right? Also on the bottle of the pack, not the bottle, on the bottom of the packaging are Bible verses. So the bottom of the fries, Proverbs 2416. If you want to look that up, see what it says. All right, little bird, oh, I gonna say, all right, little birdie, but birdie flew off, I'm gonna throw my soda away. Go get some shakes. Shake time. Oh, there goes the bird again. Up oh, there goes another bird. Going with a couple shakes. 590 calories each. We both opted for vanilla, but you can also get chocolate and strawberry. We went with a uh, vanilla each. We're getting two vanilla shakes. Kind of wash everything down. There is quite a bit of a glare here, but here there's a little window cling that shows the t-shirts they have. Thank you. T-shirts are $12.95 if you so choose. There's the shakes. Looking back on it, we probably should have got two different types of shakes. That way we could. Yeah. We go with what? Vanilla. We should do the cheers. Ooh, cheers on the vanilla. So I can still hear fireworks. There's, I think they're going to happen for the next couple days. That is a thick shake. You can also get a Neapolitan shake. Oh, they, that's part of the secret menu, right? Yeah, you could, they mix all three flavors. We'll have to try that one time. So we did it. We visited the oldest in and out in Orange County 
property, even though this building has only been here for six months. Open for six months. The one that was here before, what did it say, 75? Yes. 1975? But the company started in the late 40s. Yeah. So it took like 25, 30 years before the Orange County got it in and out as opposed to LA. Interesting. Assuming that that date stamp is correct. I mean, I hope they didn't fib it. Whoever carved it into the marble counter thought, I'm not fixing that. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that date is, is what it's staying. It's there forever. All right, pretty simple video. That's gonna do it for today, here on the 5th of July, day after July 4th. Thanks to Dylan for covering the meal. You're welcome. Thanks to myself for covering the less pricey shakes. This was like this is like six dollars for both shakes. I think your, the meal was like twenty bucks. So I owe you fourteen dollars. I'll get the next meal. There you go. That works. Should I just continue? The long, awkward take without really saying anything of substance till we get to the yeah, sign. Till we get to the sign. That'll, that'll work. Because that's where you started it. This shake is good. I like I'll see you in the next video. The vlog from In and Out in the OC. Orange County, the vlog, as I consume this shake, is over. Someone just ran by us. Oh, that went down the wrong tube. Uh -oh. Did you hear my little, like, little gargle? Someone just ran by me. I think they might be going to get a double-double. Maybe, maybe even a 3x3. Three three. They can't get an 8x8 eight eight like that guy wanted. No. A 10x10. Ten I don't know where that guy went. The guy that told us about the 10 by 10. He's gone. Maybe he was just put there to tell stories about the days of the days of old. Yeah. He's probably an employee. I don't think he was. Maybe though. I don't think he was. I think he might have been. Speed limit through here is 40 miles an hour. The vlog, random fact, is over.